One of the nice things about this project is it involves students from civil engineering, um, from electrical engineering, and from business. And so it's, it's quite a multidisciplinary project. And uh, that's, that's always a nice thing because you bring a lot of different perspectives to the problem as opposed to just a, a narrow perspective by one group or one discipline. And it's not, it's not just the uh, multiple perspectives, but it's to give them a real world, you know, multifaceted problem that's open ended and you can't just go to the back of the chapter in a book and find what the answer is. So they, you know, they work the whole uh, year. Some people have been working two years on it, you know, and then uh, I asked him, I said, well, how, how did you like that? And he says, you only have to do that now for the rest of your life. <laughs> hey, Scott. Thanks. There's actually a, a total of about 20, what is there? We, we have 11 in civil engineering, four, four. in business, and two. Yeah. So 17, total of 17 students that were involved in the overall project over the over the course of the, the last year. And, um, and the students learn a lot from each other. Again, you know, civil engineers really often don't have a, a good business perspective and being able to interact with business students uh, gives them some idea of, of, of what a business model is. And that's one of the real challenges with electric vehicle charging today is, is a business model that, that makes sense. Well, there's lots of, of, of uh, public support and, and, and uh, private industry support involved in, in doing this sort of stuff right now. There's, ultimately, the free market is going to have to uh, drive uh, the adoption of electric vehicles and electric vehicle public charging. So. Yeah, from the business perspective, interesting to look at the public-private partnership that Fifth and Elm is providing in terms of in working with the city of Houghton and working with UPCO and working with Michigan Tech and GM, how do you get that infrastructure in place? Because there's this whole chicken and egg discussion. Do you put in the infrastructure? Do you have the cars hold before the infrastructure? What's the best way to do it in terms of level one, level two, level three? And how do you pay for it? There's only two states right now, I believe, that actually can charge for electricity in this situation. So but resell electricity. Resell electricity. So what's going to happen from that? Two other big partners in this effort are, are UPCO and the city of Houghton. Um, we certainly couldn't have done it without their help and, and encouragement and, and, and support, so they certainly need to be recognized. You want to come get in a picture, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> you afraid they'll ask you a question? Come on. Dan, come on. Obviously, the utility. This is this is Dan Crane from from Upco. You guys may have talked to him earlier, but it's essential in, in this endeavor to, to have the utilities involved. They're really going to be the provider of, of the electricity that's used. They're going to be in, in this transformation to electric transportation, um, the, providing the fuel for vehicles. So they're they're a key player, and and their industry is going to have to really adapt to this, and, and are as they adapt to many other um, electric vehicle stuff. Frank, Frank. Frank here. And we never could have done it without Frank. Frank <laughs> yeah, right. fifth and out. Really honest, it's true, it's true. I mean, it, it's, it's a real challenge. As I said, the business model for reselling electricity is challenging today. We're not allowed to put a meter on this and charge you for the electricity that you use. It's a real challenge. And so many, 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 many municipalities and uh, folks get around that by charging for parking and, and providing the electricity for free. Um, Frank's been very proactive and, and willing to at least jumpstart this thing and get it started by providing the electricity uh, for free, basically as a service to his customers and, and to attract customers and to attract more people downtown. Um, he views it basically as, as, as good for downtown Houghton and, uh, and therefore good for all the businesses that are in downtown Houghton. We appreciate your, your help on this. My pleasure. I think it's great. It's a great project. So.